Senator, I want to talk to you about the gender gap. There's always been a gender gap. I don't need to tell you you're a Republican woman, uh, but it's very, very wide right now. And recently, Donald Trump said that he, uh, he said, quote, I will be your protector, speaking to women. What, what woman do you think he's trying to reach in saying, I will be your protector? What's he trying to do there? And do you think that's an approach that he should take? So when you look at President Trump's presidency um, and what he did for women during that time period, there were more women in the workforce than ever. We had the largest number of women start small businesses. He actually instituted paid family leave for federal employees, you know, taking a look at issues like child care, amongst others, which we know doesn't just affect women. Um, it affects parents in general. When you look at things like making sure that our daughters have opportunity to grow and thrive in women's sports, you know, when you look at the fact that, like, like, I, as a mom, want my kids to be safe. Do you want to be protected? And so, well, I do want my kids to be yes. safe. And I believe that the commander in chief should be in command. And I think what he is saying there, Dana, is that right now, Joe Biden is not in command. And he has said that Kamala Harris has been with him and lockstep with every single decision. And so when you're looking at the fact that it's not just our country, but the world is in chaos, and that can't be denied, whether it's Putin's aggression into Ukraine, whether it is the world being on fire in the Middle East, or whether it's Xi Jinping saying it's not an if but a when I take Taiwan, whether it's our border being unsecured. I'm sure that whether it's the story of Lake and Riley's tragedy or um, Sweet Jocelyn's tragedy or whatnot, you know, restoring security and strength, I think, is essential for every American. And I think we want a commander in chief that understands and, and I'll do that. Senator Britt.